Hi, it's John. Now, I've been thinking about what is a good citizen. And there's all sorts of ways one could view this question. But one of the ways to view it is to think of a person, a citizen, as an economic unit. They have to make money and spend money. And as long as they do that, society will be tolerant of them. So there's a need to keep the rules of society. You have to make the money in ways which uh, society allows and agrees with. Um, no breaking the rules. And the education system prepares a person to do this making and spending of money. Um, it prepares people to keep the rules. It's uh, an agent of socialisation. It's um, creating you into a person into a good citizen to uh, have an enduring society. So it's absolutely essential that society is seen as fair. Um, and that people aren't ripping off the others. Um, and if it, but if it's seen as unfair, then you get the risk of revolution. Uh, and the agent of socialisation and social control uh, is lost. So um, there's a message for political leaders. Society has to be fair for it to be sustained. It's no good just putting through people through the education system uh, and then and then creating um, an unfair society uh, based on some sort of uh, privilege or um, uh, I don't know lottery wins or something like that. I mean that's one argument against the lottery, isn't it? That it um, creates a, a unfair society. Right, bye for now.